can you sell your home for top dollar in today's market? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Valerie Brown, broker owner of Visit Vegas Homes. Will your home pass the test? Let's jump right into it. Let's start with the outside. Have you had your landscapers come by or do you have landscapers or do you need landscapers to come freshen up the shrubs, add some bark or freshen up your rocks and blow the leaves and trim the trees and just make sure it has a really clean feel to it? Or is it dead grass with a bunch of weeds growing and overgrown trees? All of that can be fixed, but that other scenario with the landscaping not having the curb appeal is not going to get you top dollar, at least not in today's market, maybe in 2021, 2022, maybe, but we're not in that market today. And so what we want to do is make sure that your home has the fresh curb appeal. Maybe you need to paint your door or your trim or update your landscaping or plant a couple extra uh, flowers for a little color pop in. But sprucing up your curb appeal is what's going to get you top dollar, at least part of it. Now let's jump into the rest. Have you done the big three? Deep clean, declutter, and depersonalize. When I'm talking deep clean, I'm talking about washing your doors and your baseboards and cleaning off the scuffs off of the wall. You want to make sure that when someone walks into your home, a buyer specifically, they love what they see and it feels clean. Does your home have an odor? Do you cook? Do you smoke inside? Do you have pets? All of those things are fine, but a buyer can pick up on those. And all of our homes have a scent, unfortunately. Even my home probably has a scent that I've gone nose blind to. We don't have pets. We don't smoke, but we cook and we cook a lot. So maybe there is a scent from cooking, especially if you cook fish or something with really strong fragrant odors. A lot of people like to cook with garlic. That can be very strong. Some people have an overwhelming sense of smell. So they're very sensitive to smell. So you want to make sure that your home is deodorized, making sure that it is very clean, fresh feeling. You want to make sure that when we're decluttering, we're not just talking about stuff that's on the countertop. We're talking about large furniture. We're talking about bulky pictures or things that don't let people really get the feel of your home. So when people walk in, they want to feel bright, light, airy. If you don't have neutral paint colors, so if your home isn't neutral, then it can be considered a little dark or not their style. So those are things that you have to think about. If you have a mural, Great. I love the artistic creativity, but it's not for everyone. So it may be something that you want to put a fresh coat of paint on just to have more buyer appeal and to appeal to a larger pool of buyers, because ultimately you want offers and you want showings and you want your pictures to pop. So neutral colors, clean, decluttered, depersonalized, all of this is going to help you sell your home. When we're talking about furniture and being bulky and big, we also have to talk about the age of your furniture and the smell of your furniture and how it presents when people come over. Does it have holes? Has your dog chewed on it? Is it grandma's furniture with like a couch cover on it? All of these things matter. And thank you, Grandma, for the furniture. I love it. But at the same time, that might need to go in the garage or it might need to go back to Grandma's house because it's not what's going to help you sell your home. How's your kitchen? How are the cabinets? Are they the same they were 15 years ago or have you updated? How are your countertops? Are they the square tile, white tiles? Or have you put in granite or quartz or something that is going to make your kitchen pop? Have you painted your cabinets? Have you considered any upgrades, backsplash, what have you, in your kitchen? That clean, light, airy feel. Everyone's style is different, but as long as it feels open and bright and clean, people are going to gravitate toward that and that's going to elicit more offers. People love a pretty home. It, they just sell fast. And when we're comparing properties, are you comparing your home to your neighbor's home, which is half a mile away, which has an extra bedroom, an extra bathroom, an extra garage, and a 10,000 square foot lot where yours is only 3,000 square foot. So when you're thinking about, well, this house over here just sold for a million, my house is definitely going to sell for a million too. Not necessarily. You have to not only put your best foot forward, but you also have to think about how your home compares to how that home presented. Also, as far as size of the interior, the extra bedrooms, the extra bathrooms, the lot size, all of that matters. So when you're putting your best foot forward, you're going to get the most. 
give me a call. I'll help advise you. Like I said, over my entire career history, I have worked in escrow and HOA and as a realtor and now as a broker owner of a Vegas brokerage called Visit Vegas Homes. I have advised thousands of people how to close a home in different capacities. I have sold thousands of homes in Las Vegas over the last 25 years. Please give me a call. I'm glad to help advise you. And don't shoot the messenger. You want someone who is invested in making sure you get top dollar for your home, not, hey, sorry, this is all your home's worth. And someone who can explain it to you. Here's a few simple tricks you can do to help you get more money for your home. That's the kind of thing that you want in an agent. And I am happy to help you.